Hi, this is Novel Professor. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use WhatsApp on old BlackBerry devices in 2025. So let's get started. As you know that WhatsApp was discontinued on BlackBerry and Symbian platforms in 2017. After that, some genius people were able to create unofficial clients by reverse engineering the XMPP protocol which WhatsApp was using at that time and people were happy that they have some alternate solution. Now unfortunately those, uh, those apps stopped working and in recent times there was no option available to use an app on the device that can use the WhatsApp service. So I started my own R&D a few months back and I came up with an idea that why not use the WhatsApp web login method and create a server-side code that uses a library that allows you to do web login in a browser and then expose the API to a client that is also developed by me and that will allow users to use WhatsApp on these old devices. So I started with the prototype and the idea worked and then I started adding features one by one and then in the end I had a pretty good working application that I wanted to use for myself on my old Nokia phones like Nokia E90 and Nokia E72 and Nokia E7 and I was very happy with that. But then I saw in the community that a lot of people were asking for such an app. So I thought why not make it public and release my app, create my own website. And also for those of you who have privacy concerns that why should I connect to your server. So I released my server side code so anyone can host it on their local PC or any VPS hosting service on the internet. So basically this is an end-to-end -end solution with client and server and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use it. So let's get on with that. So the first step is to open my website on a PC or a laptop or iPad. So you have to go to nokiaforever.com that is my website so open this website and then you'll find links to download my J2ME WhatsApp client and also Symbian WhatsApp client for Nokia phones and at the bottom of the page you'll find a link for the login so click on that link and on this page you have to wait for the QR code to appear and then you have to open the WhatsApp client which is already running on your Android or iOS device and then go to the top menu there is an option for linked devices you have to go to that option and then click on link a device. After that, you have to scan this QR code and then it will start logging you in and wait for the message to appear on my website saying that your user has logged in from this mobile number. So now the login part is complete. Now we will continue on the BlackBerry start installing my application. So now on the BlackBerry you have to open the browser make sure you're connected to the internet uh, through Wi-Fi and uh, open the browser again you have to visit my website nokiaforever.com and then just click on the first download link which is for downloading the J2ME WhatsApp client version 1.4 so click on that and it will ask you the item you selected cannot be displayed do you wish to save the item yes click on yes 
and then it will give you the default file name so just click on save and I already have it installed so it's asking me to overwrite you will face this when you upgrade from one version to another version click on yes and then it will show you that the download is completed so click on the button and click on open after that it will ask you to download so click on download button and again it will give you a warning that application does not contain a signature it might be from an not be from a trusted source do you want to proceed yes and basically it will install the whatsapp client and wait for this installation to complete it will just take some time okay the application was successfully installed click on ok and now when you go to the uh, menu go to the home okay let's go to the applications you will find it here and the name will be displayed at, as WhatsApp Midlet. So click on this and now it will start the application. So here you have to enter your mobile number starting with country code just like the example here. No need to put plus sign or zero zero prefix. Just start with your country code and mobile number. So I will just put my number. It has to be the same number which you logged in on my website, otherwise it will not work, it will not create the session. So after entering the mobile number, uh, by default it will connect to my server, nokiaforever.com. Like I said, you can post your own server. I have released the source code. I will show that in a different video. Uh, of course, you can set the refresh interval. It's set to five seconds. So that means it will connect to my server every five seconds to retrieve the new messages. You can increase this interval if you want to preserve your battery life. I recommend five seconds. And the notification volume is set to half. You can increase it to full if you want. And then you click on the BlackBerry menu and click on the next button. And here it will say that it's attempting to access this server. So just allow the connection. Yes. And it will say that you don't have an active session. Please log in again. Okay, this is because the mobile number which I entered does not match. It's not the correct mobile number. So let me fix it. This is the issue which you might face if you put a wrong number. So let me correct the number. Now when you continue, it should be able to log you in successfully like this. And now you are logged in. Now I'll show you how you can start chatting. Okay, so now I want to show you how you can receive messages from other users who are using the official WhatsApp application running on their Android or iOS devices. So I have this other test phone, which is a Galaxy Fold, running the normal WhatsApp client, of course. And this is having a different mobile number. And I just set the display name of this phone to test phone, so that I can know that it is being received from this test phone. So I will send one test message from this phone. I'll say test message. And you can see that immediately it will be received here on this phone because it's going to check every five seconds. That's the message refresh interval currently set. So of course, this is the chat screen. Now, 
this will show you the chats from all the users now if you want to select a specific user select this chat and then you'll be in the chat mode with that specific user and you can see all the chats from this user these are all test messages which I have sent before recording this video and uh, this is the uh, latest test message which is received just now now I can reply to this message by going to the menu and selecting reply okay and I will just type test reply test reply like this and then from the menu I will again choose send and you will see that this test reply comes immediately to this phone now other users can also send you images let me send an image okay this is an image I will send it now and you will see that a new image is received here so this is the image received if you want to see the image basically you click on this message I will download it from the server successfully download it and then you can click on the button and it will show you the image and let's go back and now let me share a video from this phone okay I'm going to share a video this time okay video is being uploaded from this phone to WhatsApp it will take some time and once it's uploaded again we will see here uh, video received once it is uploaded okay so I can hear the notification sound so I will go to this one video received I will click on it to start downloading this video it will show a warning that you want to open this content you will say yes okay you will say yes now it's downloading from my server and yes now the uh, video file will be automatically converted to a format which is uh, readable by this phone and all the old phones so you can see now the video is playing normally and there you have it you can share images you can share videos you can watch it on your blackberry device and uh, basically this is the demo I want to show you in this video so thanks a lot for watching and enjoy the application